Welcome to Học Tiếng Anh với Joseph, where we build vocabulary and practice pronunciation through reading. Continuing with the cat in the box, a history of science in 100 experiments. Today we will read story number 87. Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ đọc câu chuyện số 87. Detecting the ghost particle. In 1930, the Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli suggested that energy which seemed to be being lost during certain particle interactions was actually being carried away by a ghostly particle which became known as the neutrino. The hypothetical particle had to have a very tiny mass much less than that of an electron and no electric charge, making making it very difficult to detect. It would travel not just through space, but through solid matter at almost the speed of light. But if it did not exist, the law of conservation of energy, which is one of the most fundamental laws of science, would have to be abandoned. Theory said that apart from gravity, neutrinos only interact with matter through the so-called weak nuclear force, which is very weak indeed. If a beam of neutrinos, like the ones thought to be produced by the nuclear reactions going on inside the sun, were to travel through a wall of solid lead For 3,500 light years, only half of them would be stopped along the way. Pauli himself thought that he had done a frightful thing by proposing a particle that could never be discovered. He considered it so unlikely that any experiment would ever detect neutrinos directly that he offered a case of champagne to any experimenter who successfully took up the challenge. But the development of nuclear reactors stimulated by the Second World War offered experimental possibilities undreamed of in the early 1930s. To trap one neutrino is almost impossible But if you have a lot of neutrinos and a large enough detector, you might hope to see the effects of the few of them interacting with the atoms in your detector. The challenge was taken up by Clyde Cowan and Frederick Rains in the 1950s. Their detector was simply a tank of water holding about 1,000 pounds or 400 liters of liquid placed next to the Savannah River nuclear reactor in the United States. It was calculated that 50 trillion, 5 times 10 to the power of 13 neutrinos should be passing through every square centimeters on the side of the tank every second, and that in the course of an hour, one or two of these neutrinos should be captured by a proton, a nucleus of a hydrogen in the water. This would convert the proton into a neutron and release a positron, the positively charged antiparticle counterpart to the electron. It was the positrons that Cowan and Rayner set out to detect in their experiment. Each positron, very quickly meets an electron when the pair annihilate, emitting a pair of gamma rays with very distinctive properties. Hints of the anticipated neutrino signal came in 1953, and full confirmation that Pauli's idea was correct came in 1956. Cowan and Rain sent Polly a telegram telling him the news. And 
he paid up on his 25-year-old bet by sending them a case of champagne. In 1995, Reigns received a share of the Nobel Prize for his work, but Cohen has died in 1974, so he could not receive this honor. This was not the end of the story, because neutrinos are so reluctant to interact with anything. The neutrinos from the heart of the sun escape into space and cross past the Earth and through it almost unnoticed. Tens of billions of them pass through every square centimeter of your skin every second. Astronomers realized that if some of these solar neutrinos could be detected and analyzed, they would provide a direct insight into what was going on in the very center of the sun. It was another impossible experiment, but Raymond Davis of the Brookhaven National, National Laboratory decided to give it a try. His detector had to be shielded from all sources of interference such as cons cosmic rays, particles from space, so it was constructed 1,500 meters or 4,921 feet below ground at the bottom of the Homestead Gold Mine in Leeds, South Dakota. 7,000 tons of rock had to be removed to make room for the detector, a tank the size of an Olympic swimming pool filled with 105,669 gallons or 400,000 liters of perchloroethylene. Perchloroethylene, a fluid that used to be used in dry cleaning processes. The key component of this liquid was chlorine. On the rare occasions that a solar neutrino interacted with a chlorine atom in one of the molecules of perchloroethylene, it would convert the chlorine atom into an atom of a radioactive form of argon, which would be released into the liquid. Every few weeks, the fluid in the tank had to be swept clean of argon by bubbling helium through it, and a number of argon atoms counted by deflecting their radioactive decays, detecting their radioactive decays. The experiment began operating in 1968. After all that effort, each run of the experiment yielded about a dozen counts. One radioactive argon atom was being produced in the tank every few days. Once Davis had proved that solar neutrinos could be detected, other experiments were devised and neutrino astrophysics is now an important branch of astronomy which has provided insight into the workings of the sun and into the nature of the neutrinos themselves. Davis received a share of the Nobel Prize in 2002 for pioneering contributions to astrophysics, in particular for detection of cosmic neutrinos. Heading to the vocabulary section, ghostly particle, ghost, ghostly particle, neutrino, neutrino, champagne, champagne, undreamed of, undreamed of capture capture convert 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 if we say it like that it's a verb but if you say convert it's a noun những người theo đạo khác mình gọi họ là convert Nhưng mà nếu mình đổi từ cái này qua cái kia thì mình gọi nó là convert. Annihilate. 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 Very hard to do to pronounce. 
So we have to practice more. Annihilate. Anticipate. 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 Confirmation. Confirmation. Confirm is the verb. Had to be shielded. Had to be shielded. Shield, shielded. Per, chlory, chlor, chlorine. Per chlor, ethylene. Per chlor, ethylene. Neutrino, astrophysics. Right here, I the word per with P E R, okay. Neutrino astrophysics. Thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next story. Bye for now.